I am going to tell you a story. It all started in 1985 when me, Fianna, had to move to North Carolina with my parents. They found a new job there, so they decided to take me to St. Charleston boarding school. The first day I was scared because it was a big new place for me and I will be so far from my parents for a long time. When I was walking down the hallway, I met Alexa, who showed me the entire school and we realized that we were roomies. We went to the room and we met Jasmine. We all liked the nature, so we decided to explore the forest behind the school. We were walking when I found a typical plant of the state, a Venus flytrap. They are my favorite plants. So I didn't think too much, and I took it with me to my room. I put it near my window and I watered it every day. I dedicate my time to it. After classes, before bed, even I talk to it. And this plant turned into a reddish coloration. She was so beautiful. Until one day after school, Aubrey, Maya, and Rhea was passing by my room, so they discovered Venus. Oh my god, Green Princess Fiona! You know, pets and plants are not allowed in this school. I guess Mr. Robinson won't like this, said Aubrey. Please don't tell Mr. Robinson, I beg you, please. I told to Aubrey, feeling so scared because Mr. Robinson is the principal of the school and he's so terrifying. I let it go this time because I'm so generous and pretty, but you green princess Vienna, you must get rid of that horrible plan. It's like you. <laughs> <laughs> the days went by and by. I decided to keep the Venus, but it was turning into a dark color. I know Aubrey's bad vibes affected my precious Venus. I was so sad. Until one morning when I was waking up, I noticed that the plan wasn't in its place. I jumped out of the bed and started to look for it. I thought Aubrey was the author of such a feat. But when I was ready to give up, I heard sounds from the bathroom. I went there and I saw a beautiful creature. She was green, she had pink long hair and she had beautiful blue eyes. She reminded me of my plant. What are you? I asked her. Don't be scared, Fiona. It's me, Venus. I am very grateful. You helped me when I was a baby. A bird stole me from my mother's side. And you took care of me. You fed me. You watered me. I could have died, said Venus. I am so happy you are good, but I need to keep you safe because my classmate Aubrey wants to get rid of you. Please stay here. Don't leave the room. Someone can see you and it will be our end. I need to go to classes. I will back, I said. When I was on my way to classes, I saw Jasmine and Alexa returning to our room, so I went behind them. Jasmine and Alexa started screaming, Oh my god, where is that? I introduced Venus to them. Girls, she's my plant, Venus McFly trap. She's not bad. Please help me to take her to her home, the forest. But I'm afraid with Aubrey, she wants to get rid of her. I said. Suddenly, Aubrey appeared at the door. Oh my god, you guys are in trouble. I will tell to Mr. Robinson. It's not a plant anymore. Now it's a monster. He will send it to a freak show. She started to run, heading to the principal's office. When she arrived at Mr. Robinson's office, she told him everything about Venice. He yelled so furiously, No pets allowed! 
he head to Fiana's room and discovered Venice. He grabbed her arm and took her to the playground. Anybody come break the rules. You girls are punished. And you plant, girl, monster, I don't know, whatever you are, you will send to a garden store. Or a circus, said Mr. Robinson. Please don't do that, father. We all have feelings in our heart. I don't want you to be a monster, dad, said Sasha. Mr. Robinson shed a tear. You are right, my little cupcake. I just wanted to enforce your grandfather's rules. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Fiana. I want to apologize because I know about your good intentions. Venice, I also want to apologize. I'm so sorry for your real world first impression. You can go, girls, but he Venice, you can be here. You need to be with your family. I know where's her family. I can take her there, said Fiana. They arrived at Topia, located in the backyard of the boarding school, home of Venice and her family. Luckily, that day was the coronation day, so Venice could receive her crown to be the queen of Topia. Now I know Venice is in her home, I can be relaxed and happy. My work here is done. Guiding day breaks light.